as promised, you're gonna have to excuse all the noise here, but we're doing uh, the Team U bike video number two. My uh, youngest daughter's gonna race this today. I don't know where it's at, I think my kid's riding it, uh, the eldest. But uh, so I'm gonna show you kind of some of the bikes we've been riding this weekend, kind of what we're doing, and then we're gonna go race some pit bikes. Now, two of us are gonna be racing XR100s, so we're not expecting her to win. We don't even know if we expect the bike to finish. Cause I mean, let's be honest, it was a $200 pile of crap. So let's look, take a look at some bikes. So here's some of the bikes. 1979 YZ125, 1975 MX400, 75 MX250 that Blake rides. Got a 75 125, 76. Here's a 79 Honda Red Rocket. The little piece of crap team you. Got an XR over there. Got another one here. 96 that I race. So this is the bike that we're all here for though. All right, so this is my youngest daughter. She's gonna ride the Team U bike because she's the smallest and she's also the bravest. Oh no. And as, as soon as she saw it, she, I said, you have to race it. She's like, all right, what are your expectations today? It's not gonna go well. So not do you think gonna you're go gonna win? Well. No. Did you put race fuel in it? Yeah, it's full. Because it's the only thing we got. Yeah. You're gonna like go out there and try to cut everybody off the first corner? I Just remember, I'm... you have to pull start it. Yeah, I know. She doesn't even weed whack at home, but she's gonna go ride a weed whacker. Yeah. All right, let's head, to the, let's head to the racetrack. Oh no.
little vent line came off, got fuel everywhere. Yep. The chain came off. It's uh, like bound up. It wrapped all the way around the wheel. Oh yeah, it did. And then you can't see it on camera, but if the handlebars are straight, the wheel's pointing. It's making like a 90 degree turn. Yeah. So I didn't even make one lap. I'm pretty disappointed in my kid. I know she's a better racer than that. I expected more out of her. It was good advice. Wasn't um, it? Oh crap, <laughs> something just moved. The finish line. Something moved. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Nothing if you would like to just buy a bike thing. and pick it up throw it in the scrap pile, no. go for it. But it was fun. It was fun. We're going to fix it and we're going to try it again though. Oh my God. What broke on it? Yeah. Look at the front end. All right, so uh, we fixed the Team U bike. When I say fix it, I mean it might work for a minute. So, ex pro racer Al Donth is here to give us his review on this bike. So, Al, you used to race pro. Yes, I did. This is this bike, it's got inverted fork, disc brakes, and everything. You think it's pretty quality? It's got everything you need. It it's really got does. Everything. It does. <laughs> so, I you mean, think this could like win a national? Maybe in Thailand? I mean, you're short, so but it's, it's still close. a national. Yeah, it's still a national. It is a national for there. It's true. All right, let's see what you got. I'm a little scared. I, I did ride it a little bit earlier. It was pretty scary. He comes around the front of my truck, says, "I almost ate it. It didn't go well." So, uh, yeah, this might not go well. This is so stupid! <laughs> He's gonna hit a goddamn truck! <laughs> uh, Alright, Se second time was far better. I think it's raceable. It's raceable? I give him my seal of approval. Alright, everybody. Go to Team U, waste your money, buy one of these pieces of crap. And we have a puppy that won't shut up. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? She got to shut up! What are you doing? <laughs> Disclaimer, fork seal is already leaking. And there's no fluid. <laughs> there's actually fluid. Chain that surprises me. Chain has fallen off as well. Chain, <laughs> chain did fall off. Chain just fell off. Did it? It uh, fell off sitting here. No, no. it fell no. off. No, it's on. Well, that was earlier. That's not relevant now. The track goes that way. He's going the wrong way on the track. It's so bad. I love it. All right, Blake, walk us through it. What happened? Uh, hit the corner and it just goes, Arr! but it rolls over. So you didn't blow it up. No, what I did. You hit the key. I hit the key with my leg. No, it won't start. Yep. You got it hot. This is not made for proper riding technique. You can't hold on with your legs. I'm not sorry. I was making sure that was plugged in. By chance, choke it. I just, I just was. Okay. Yeah. 
here, let me try. Let me jump in there. All right, so keys on. Yep. Chokes on, gas on. Chokes on, gas is off. Gas is off? Gas is off. Gas on. Broke the son of she gone. It didn't even make it two laps. 1.1 laps, I'm calling it. 1.1. This was, it was just outside of the realm that you need to be for a national event. We'll get it running again. We'll be back soon. We got it running. Now it's good for a national. Sign me up. I'm coming out of retirement. Whoa. Oh. And uh, see if the bike breaks. He was kicking. It actually worked pretty good. damn chain came off again so Al you hit the uh, that 285 footer jump it, shut up <laughs> God damn comedians so you hit the 285 foot jump you cleared it chain came off <laughs> oh, oh, is it back off again no it just died and it keeps dying for some reason but we're not gonna talk about that at the moment it's not a durability issue it's just an issue. It's, foot issue. it's just an issue. I'm gonna be honest. All right, completely, complete honesty. I'm impressed. I thought for sure this thing would be broken half by now, and it is truly ready for the Taiwanese nationals. I'm not kidding. I mean, you just gotta put your chain on a couple times, like a lot. But it keeps starting. It's as long as your as long as your leg doesn't hit the key. And it hasn't broken half yet. I'm truly impressed. Well, he's not back yet, so it could be in half now. Uh-oh. There is a uh, bolt in the middle of the track. Oh, he's got it running. It's metric, and the bike runs. So. Oh, he's coming. Oh, shit, he's coming. All right, we got to land more to flat somewhere. <laughs> I think the chain's back the off. The chain's off again. The chain came off again, but no big deal. It was lap 38. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, durability-wise, that's pretty good. Like All right, so they found a really long straightaway. <laughs> and they're going to piece this all together with a long straightaway and jump off the side of the finish line jump to see in its durability test if it'll break in half or not. The problem is, is my kid's chasing state championship points and he's the one doing it. This just might not go well. They're pushing him. Does it run? Is the chain on? Chain is on. Ow, now I gotta do it. Now you gotta do it. Son of a bitch. Hey, do you want your fender? I'm sure he wasn't. No. Al, do you want your fender? Fucking terrifying. Hey Al, you want your fender? 
So, I don't know if you guys are in, enamored by the resilience of a $200 Team U bike, but I'm just telling you, if you've got your Social Security paycheck, you damn go get one. Hey, Joe, that means you, the old sum. Yeah. <laughs> That's my buddy Joe. He beats me in racing all the time. I don't like Joe. <laughs> hey, you beat me in second motor today. Yeah. Not when it mattered. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The famous words of Valley says, I think I can land it. And then I said, if he does land it, I'll go again and try. We just have to keep putting the chain back on. That's fine. Dude, that actually hurt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. My name just knifed over and I was on my head. <laughs> hey, Al. Yes, sir. I don't think that was the plan. It was not the plan. So, what we did know, Blake's putting the chain back on. There's a little kink in the frame right here. But uh, Al said, don't worry, he likes kinky, so he's still good. <laughs> And the subframe is super comfortable on the anus to sit on. <laughs> and the and the, the fenders, the rear fender's still there. Here. stretched <laughs> it's like a chopper that, right? <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> look at the seat it's pushed the seat up <laughs> that's current for her pleasure <laughs> oh it's a frame break oh, yeah. Yeah, it oh. luckily they use such soft steel it doesn't break it just bends oh, we have so we're done so Al, I mean you if you want to go again you're welcome to I'm out Al Yes, sir. What's your thoughts on the durability overall for this being a national bike? It still steers. I think we need to work on their metallurgy a little bit. <laughs> it's little very close, though. It's very close. Right there, right on the edge. I think it needs a nibby carb. Yep. Because if anyone knows China stuff, knows nibby is as good as Keyhan all day long. Yep. <laughs> and just a little bit more heat treat in the frame, and we're good. Yeah. So am I hearing go again? Buffer you can go again. I'm out. I crashed my brains out twice. I'm good. <laughs> That was a cart roll, barrel roll, acrobatic, evil Knievel crap. Well, I guess I got one more in me. Yeah, Is it you're done? in the hospital when you're it's done. It's still good. The chain stayed on. I just want to say that. It runs, chain stayed on. But it's back in half. I don't think you can really ask for much better. Honda, start taking some notes. Yeah. You are for, way overcharging. For $200, for this has been exactly like 24 minutes worth of yeah. pleasure.
He lifted. You. Okay, so the quick takeaway here is the frame is not really built built for the rigors of racing, but if we know anything about All Pro, I'm gonna fab some crap up. I'm gonna weld some crap up. I'm gonna straighten some crap up because my daughter still has to vindicate the, the race today. So stay tuned. We're gonna have more Team U bike coming, but we're gonna strip this thing down. Quit kicking it. Hey, hey, that's my race bike, man. <laughs> God, this is the crap I have to work Take with. Take your keys and go Show home. Show some respect. Take your keys and go home. All right, stay tuned because we're going to rebuild this piece of crap and try again. It's a chopper, honey. It's a, cho it's a chopper lowrider motorbike. Uh, I think it got longer. <laughs> no, it's not the forks. Nope, frame. frame's bent in half. <laughs>